Here we have a one and a half horsepower Black and Decker variable speed pump. I can't even believe I'm saying those words. For decades, for as long as I've been in the pool industry, which is 30 years now, it's been Jandy, it's been Hayward, it's been Pentair. If it's not one of those three, well, I don't really know who you are then because I never see your products in the field. It is only those three. I mean, there's some other names out there, Spec and Waterways and, and a couple of other decent names as well, but realistically, you just don't see them on the market. Black and Decker pool pumps. I've never seen one in my life, but starting this year, I started to see these variable speed Black and Decker pumps hitting the market, and people are talking about them like crazy. I get the sneaking suspicion they're selling a lot of these things based on the feedback that customers are giving in online forums like Facebook forums, for example. It seems like customers are interested in these, people are buying and installing them, and people want to know more about them. So I've got one here now, let's open it up, take a look at, inside, at what's inside this box, and then we can go ahead and get started installing one of these bad boys. Snakes! Oh, just, just kidding. It's not snakes. It's a pool pump. So now that we have it out of the box, this is what the Black & Decker Variable Speed Pump comes with. It's actually pretty comprehensive. I'm a little bit impressed here, I have to say. So starting off here, we've just got a little uh, weather seal gasket and the uh, plate and screws for the electrical connections, uh, which are back here on the starboard side of the pump. Uh, I'm impressed with this here. It comes with union connections, but it comes with union connections for both inch and a half and two inch pipe natively. That's very thoughtful of them to include that. So you, you just right out of the box can use either here uh, and just thread your connection in place. If you're gonna use, I've got the two inch one installed here now. Let's pretend that for whatever reason. And there you go. Put the gasket on there as well. There's a gasket that comes with it. So that gasket, you would just swap out to here, put that on, there we go, and that's it. Now you have an inch and a half pipe connection natively without having to use a reducing bushing or something like that. I mean, most pumps I buy don't come with that, so that's nice that they've included the option for both. Use two inch, if you have the option or if you have a two inch system, use the two inch. It's uh, better for the flow dynamics. Uh, looking around here, it also it comes with a, <laughs> a very hearty instruction manual. Uh, probably worth reading. You know, there's a lot of good information in here. Uh, it's going to tell you about the electrical requirements. It's going to tell you about how to program the pump. A lot of good stuff that, as a pool owner, you want to know. Uh, otherwise, this looks like every other pool pump that I'm used to. It's got a winterizing port on the side. It's got a winterizing port on the front. Uh, it's got a variable drive controller back here. What you want to do is you want to put pressure here and then lift here. Let me show you. So you put your pressure here and then lift. And it completely makes it just, it just pops right open. Now this is an interesting thing. It's on a base right now. So the base that it's on is going to configure it for different, uh, different pump heights. If I remove the base that's attached here, which I'm going to do, without the base, this pump is an exact match or a direct swap for the Hayward Super Pump or the Pentair Super Flow. 
that's very important because those really are the market leaders and there's already a reason why those two pumps in particular swap directly without having to adapt the plumbing so very smartly black and decker has done the same thing here and that they've enabled you to direct swap this pump for a hayward super pump or a pentair super flow but in addition to that, they've given you the base to give you a couple more options. And I bet you as soon as I crack that manual open, it's going to list out for me which pumps will match with the base on and which pumps it will match with the base off. And again, the point of this is to allow you to install this on an existing system while adjusting the existing plumbing to the least degree possible. Ideally, not at all. You just want to spin off some unions, put the new pump in place, put the unions on. I mean, that's ideally what they're aiming for with this compatibility thing. This is a really smart implementation by Black & Decker. The market's kind of wide open right now for swimming pool pumps from the internet. Largely, the big three manufacturers for the swimming pool industry have made a move against internet sales. It's what the dealers wanted, so they did what the dealers wanted. But the reality is, is that the people, the consumers, people want to buy stuff online. It's just what it is. Yes, they, they could and should go to a local pool dealer, but there's going to be a certain amount of people who do not do that. Those people are almost certainly going to end up with a Black & Decker variable speed swimming pool pump because you can order it from the internet. They have stock and more importantly, there's no limit, uh, limited warranty or no warranty at all. That's what most of the big name manufacturers are doing for any equipment that they do have available online still. Largely, they've removed most of their equipment from the internet. The stuff that remains largely has reduced warranty offerings. Black & Decker, I'm pretty sure, I have to double check this, but I'm pretty sure this pump comes with a five-year manufacturer's warranty, which is very long. As long as the, the longest you can find from any other manufacturer. And typically one to three years would be considered the warranty period for a, a pool pump. So five years, very strong offering by Black & Decker. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with this. I can't wait to get this installed, get it running, and start doing some testing.